It is July the 6th, and I <laughs> have been absent from my garden for a few days. Things have been going on. We've been busy with the 4th. Come out today, was putting fertilizer down before the rain set in, and putting the fertilizer actually down here, and I noticed the telltale sign of hornworm. So all the little green droppings. That is from the blasted hornworm. These guys literally in four or five days of my absence have moved in and have gone to town on my poor tomato plants. I have picked a bunch of them off. More, more signs of the hornworm here. Picked all the big ones off that I found so far. I've got them in a bucket over here. I'll show you in a second. But they have just... Oh, it's difficult to see. They've eaten terminal buds off of several of my plants. Yeah, those guys are about seven feet tall so far. Uh, they've eaten the terminal buds off of... Yep, here we go. This one, the one behind it, they've eaten nearly most of the plant. They've had a bunch of the tomatoes themselves. They've eaten all them. Where was that? Yep. I don't see it now. Here. There used to be tomatoes here. They ate the tomatoes gone entirely. There's a piece of the tomato plant left. Of course it wasn't big, but... So, what I've done is picked as many as I can find. Of course it's raining now. The tomatoes that are outside, not under this. I can't apply the BT, but it is a caterpillar. So BT will work on. Will mix up another batch of BT, pick as many of them off as we can find, especially the big ones, get some BT on it, and get these guys under control. To be honest, I don't know if the these plants here, that the terminal bud has been eaten off entirely. I don't know if it will recover. It may not. So on this guy, I'll, I'll leave that sucker grow and keep the plant growing from it. Discouraging. Anyway, not that big of a deal. We can overcome. I'll be diligent the next few days. I'm home now. We're done with the 4th of July. I'll be in the garden daily, hunting for hornworms, and get the BT to it, and take care of the little guys that I can't find easily with my eyes. They're difficult to find, truly. Even the big ones are. Look underneath. Here. They'll be up hanging upside down underneath the foliage and you just can't see them. They blend in remarkably well. All right, here's my bucket of hornworms. And as you can see, some of these suckers are just huge. Destructive little monsters. It's amazing how much they can eat just in a few days. BT works on them. I don't know if neem oil does. I don't think it does. A BT will kill them. And at this point, I just want them gone. Here's an example of how well they camouflage in. And, uh, right there. Yeah, right there. That's hornworm. Look for these guys. Pluck them off. They won't hurt you. They're not poisonous. They do have a little horn on the butt. Pluck them off, throw them in a container, soapy water will kill them, drown them in water, squish them. If you have chickens, chickens like hornworms. I uh, don't know if you can fish with them, I don't think they'll stay on a hook. They're kind of gooey when you do squish them. 